I'm Dan Johnson, and we're going to talk with Denny Sleen, who has a pretty interesting story. A school teacher, but an airplane builder, and let's start out a little bit with what you do for a living, which is a school teacher, and then we'll kind of connect the dots for why that has something to do with this. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your teaching career first. I, I teach industrial technology at Park Rapids High School. And what does that mean? I, I teach uh, shop class is what shop that class. means. Okay. I teach welding, machining, mechanics, um, electronics, and a few other classes that uh, all have to do with building an airplane. Yeah, all skills that would be useful putting this particular kit together. It doesn't come as a kit. When you when you get a set of plans, you get 60 sheets of 8.5 by 11, mostly <laughs> hand-drawn plans, and then you have to figure it out from there. And there's quite a few of them that have been built and flying. We should have five of them here tonight at Air Venture. Is that right? Yes. we got cool. three coming in after the air show. The Legal Eagle Squadron. Legal huh? Eagle. This is the 20th anniversary of the Legal Eagle. Oh, beautiful. So there's okay. kind of a special event going on here for them. They gave us a prominent spot here. and I see. You've got quite a delicious uh, location here on the field. Um, I didn't know it was the 20-year anniversary. Thank you for educating me on that. So. You told me a great story, and I want you to do that again. You got some, you got some stuff from Aircraft Spruce, and I'm imagining yes. you got a whole welded fuselage. And you, then you said you got it in a pretty small container, and I went, "Hmm, I'm not understanding something here." Tell me. So when you order your kit, what you <laughs> what you get is a, a box of tubes, and you have to cut them and fit them, and then weld them together. Wow. Um, the same with the wings. So you're just getting basically raw material. Raw material. You with the wings, they come in a tube. You've got a bunch of spruce sticks that you get to cut and glue together and build a wing out of. Wow, um, that's quite you, a project. When you order the tail kit, it comes in a tube and you have to cut it and fabricate it and bend it and rivet it all together. So nothing comes as a kit on this airplane. We built it with a aviation club at the high school. After school. I see, okay. Kids, Not part of the regular curriculum. Correct. but Kids came in on their own time after school and they'd spend two, three hours on a Wednesday night and I would have work lined up for them, projects, help work go through them. The students pretty much built all the ribs. Is that right? For, on this airplane? On this airplane. Oh, okay. Um, again, with guidance and uh, of course, supervision. Right. But they're learning something valuable out of this. Right. They, they, but yet they've got to dedicate their own time. This is not school time. Correct. they got to go home, yep. eat or whatever, and then come back correct. on their own clock, so to say. I've, I've got at least 25 students who used to have their names signed on the horizontal stabilizer, but the Sharpie marker is not permanent, so much of those names oh. have faded away, but there's still markings there from where kids have signed their name on the airplane. Who were, who were helpful to putting it together. You know, I'd love to build a student airplane. Because totally that was a student whole built, huh? thing. This airplane was about $6,000 as it sits right here. Is that right? Finished. Wow. With a, Did that include the engine? With the engine, new wow. motor. Is that Brand right? new motor, got about $2,000 wow. in the engine, about 4,000 into the airframe. You said affordable, that really affordable. puts it in capital letters, Absolutely. doesn't it? Absolutely, so uh, it'd, it'd be great if I had a student who says, I want to build an airplane we haven't had that, so that's a little disappointing, but they're still getting the experience. Um, $6,000 for this whole deal, but you got to do some work. How much work did that translate to if you had been doing it all on your own? Which I know you didn't do that maybe, but... Well, it takes longer to help five kids build it than it does to do it actually. yourself. Yep. Um, again, four years, how much time? I've probably got six, seven hundred hours into it. If I was to build another one of these, I think two hours a night for a year, I think I could have it sitting really? here ready to fly. Okay. So now that's, not, that's you working that's yourself yes. with your skills. Yes. Uh, so I the assume. second one's just going to go way faster. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, now you no got head scratching. all that head scratching is yeah. out of the picture now. Okay, so that's a remarkable uh, price point, meaning it's affordable for a lot of people. Absolutely. Who we hear a lot of times, hey, these LSA, they're beautiful. They do great stuff, but they're way out of my ballpark budget wise and I get that mm -hmm. we have other choices but this is one of the lowest cost aircraft ever I it think. could be uh, you, you know, know it doesn't Leonard, matter the numbers but it's an affordable number at least and and again this is a brand new motor if you use a used motor and you know you can get by cheaper um, <laughs> And it's almost hard to believe, but I accept the point. And Leonard says, you know, if, if you spend $5,000, it's because you spent things you didn't need to buy. Is that so right? That's a great it's, expression. It's not an expensive airplane. It was not difficult uh, to put it together. 
And, and how much space? Is well, we needed. did it in a classroom. In you, a classroom. You could do it in a the in whole a, airplane in the classroom. Yeah. Well, we used some shop space occasionally, but the, the airplane was assembled in my classroom, and we had class underneath the airplane and had the tail lifted up to the ceiling, and we just walked <laughs> underneath it. Is that right? Um, I again, gotta believe that was kind of cool, even for those that weren't participating. Again, in that. I got the question all the time: Is this a real airplane? Does it really fly? And even when it was sitting just like it looks now out in front of the school I still had students come up and say does that really fly with somebody in it it's like it took that long to figure out that it's a real airplane a little sample flight of how it is to fly the legal eagle well the the takeoff roll is about four or five hundred feet for me okay. and that's going to vary depending on the horsepower and, 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 and how the much money horse that you is spend. This? this is a half EW, half right? Half EW. And how much horsepower Probably you got? Probably about 32. 32, okay. So um, four or five hundred feet. Now that's on grass here. It's on grass feet. All right, so you, you roll so and you took I, off I roll now. off. I typically keep the mains on the runway until I know I'm at flying speed. I don't okay. like bouncing along the runway. Ah, okay. So I'll keep the mains, keep the tail up, and as soon as I know I'm at flying speed, I'll drop the tail and it kind of jumps off the runway. Um, this is trimmed right now to fly at 52 miles an hour. Okay. So I give it full throttle and I climb out at 52 miles an hour. When I get to the altitude I want to fly at, I pull the power back and I cruise at 52 miles an hour. <laughs> so and 52 is kind of a magic number for you. When it's time to come back in and land, I pull the power back some more and I land at my approach at 52 miles an hour. <laughs> so but as I'm coming down at 52 miles an hour at about half throttle, once I get to the runway, I level off. The speed drags. W I mean, it's a very draggy yeah, it's a drag airplane. airplane. It you got round slows, tubes, not, not it slows down tubes. as I level off, and it'll gradually drop the mains onto the runway, and then I kill the power completely, and we're done. Pretty it's, sweet. A, it's a dream to fly that very now, well. Does this make part 103, Denny? Yes, it does. Okay. So with I, this engine, so it's a four-stroke engine. engine for four those stroke. people that may not know that, yeah. but uh, so four-stroke engine on a legal part 103, yes. hence the legal eagle name. Legal right? eagle. Yeah. All right. Well, when, tell me a little bit more then. Uh, you were you wanted to tell me something about Leonard, the designer of this. When machine. Leonard built the prototype for this, he came in 10 pounds under the under the limit for the part 103 ultralights. 10 so you've under. <laughs> underweight. Nice job, Len. So, you know, you've got a little bit, depending on what you're going to add. Um, I've, I've got a radio. Ah, okay. I've got some instruments that I don't need. Still part 103, and though. it's still part 103. All so. right. That's terrific. Well, that's great. So, uh, once again, tell me the name of your school uh, where you are conducting this uh, club. You call it a club, yes. right? Yep. Park Rapids High School, Park Rapids, Minnesota. It's a web address for the Legal Eagle. The Legal Eagle website is betterhalfvw.com. Betterhalfvw.com. And you can order plans. Uh, Leonard has designed the Legal Eagle. He designed a Legal Eagle XL for larger pilots okay. with a little bit higher gross weight. He also has a Double Eagle and a Cabin Eagle, which is a fully enclosed airplane. So cool. He's developed that into quite a line. Then, he has he? not quit designing airplanes. All right, that's great. Well, this is a lovely airplane. It appeals to me. Anybody that's into the ultralight game has got to look at this and go, wow, this is, it's cool. It's very affordable. That's all great. That, that's kind of the website business that I'm in is affordable aviation. So you can find more about this and all kinds of airplanes that are similar on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for talking to teacher Denny Sleen and myself here at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2018.